to the sea. Did you not believe what he was saying? I'm just wondering why he's took two fingers up at that guy there who was telling about the dead people being caused by the injection. And if you look closely, you'll see that words like massacre, like atrocity, like slaughter only seem to be reserved for one side in this equation and it's not the side of the Palestinians. Even though they are the ones that have disproportionately suffered, not since October the 7th, since 1948 and indeed before it. My brothers and sisters, we have to ask ourselves the state of the coverage that we see, is it an accident or is it by design? You know, just last week I saw something that I thought was quite shocking. It was the so-called president of the state of Israel sitting with Rishi Sunak. And you know, he's lambasting him, he's saying... You know, he's saying, Rishi, you need, to, you need to sort out the BBC as if they weren't compliant enough. He's saying, he's saying you need to put pressure on this organisation, the state of their coverage isn't amenable enough to our interests. You know, if this was Russia or any other foreign government, we'd say this is blatant interference with our free press. We've seen, brothers and sisters, last year, something that we should remember, which was, sorry, this year even, which was the bulldozing of Janine refugee camp. And something quite interesting happened on the BBC. A journalist, I'll be fair to her, tried the temerity to ask Naftali Bennett, the former Prime Minister of the State of Israel, someone who I'll get onto for a brief moment in a second. She asked him, listen, a lot of children are being told here. Are you okay with this? Are you happy with this? And this man reacted like any Zionist watch, and absentated. And there was lobby groups like the Board of Deputies, that lobbied the BBC for a retraction for an apology. And the BBC lamented, she apologised, the BBC apologised. I just want to draw out this moment for the blatant hypocrisy that it shows. Brothers and sisters, before October the 7th, the state of Israel has murdered, on average, 100 children per year. On average, between 500 and 700 children imprisoned by the Israeli state per year. Most of them for throwing rocks that are occupy military. You know, the BBC teaches Ukrainians how to make Molotov cocktails. They don't say a word about the Palestinian children held in Israeli dungeons without charge or trial, many of them. And it was the BBC that had to apologise and not the representative of the state of Israel. For insisted they shocking. But listen, despite the concerted efforts to suppress media, we should never be disheartened. I saw a poll the other day that showed that more than three times as many 18 to 24 year olds are supportive of, it, of Palestine than the Israelis. People are seeing with their eyes the injustice of conformity with front of us, and history will absolve them. So let's keep doing the work, brothers and sisters. Let's keep getting organized, coming to these streets, showing our support for the Palestinians, and fighting with our last breath, every single breath, including our last breath, for a free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free
Oh, no, 